Hello everybody and welcome back to Shave Up. <clears throat> so today I have a little surprise hiding under my hat and we'll get to that in a minute. But today's main focus is going to be on a review for the Nivea Men Sensitive Shaving Cream. Right there, you see it? Okay. And I've had some good use out of this, so I'll have a pretty good review. And so it'll be just one moment here. I have had my brush soaking, just squeeze it out a little bit in my Star Wars bowl. And today let's go ahead and do a bowl lather. So what you do, just squeeze out about that much shaving cream. And then you can put it directly into the bowl, onto the brush, onto your face, whatever. Um, got that all ready. And there's a little bit of water in the bowl. Um, let's just dump that out today. <clears throat> and creams are a little bit easier to lather and load. Uh, it's really easy because you just squeeze it out of the tube if it comes in a tube and then put it in the bowl or on the brush. And then if they come in a tub, they are really soft, so they just come onto the brush really easily. And they already have a lot of, uh, have well not a lot, but more water in them than the soaps do. So you don't need to as much, add as much water usually. And as usual, I'll just take my fingers like this and kind of scoop, I don't know, I think it's roughly maybe a quarter tablespoon or something like that. I'll measure it one day. And that's what I'll do each time unless I feel it has a lot of water and then I'll just put, get my fingertips wet and let a couple drops drip in. And you just keep going. And while I'm doing this, I'll just go over the smell. It has a really nice scent to it. It's got maybe a little bit of menthol in it, but this has a nice, really nice smell. A um, little bit soapy, but it has a, I don't know, menthol -y or, um, I don't know, maybe kind of a Vicks, very light Vicks type smell. I'm trying to, can't put my finger on it right now, but it's got a nice little smell to it. I like it. And this is the Sensitive Skin Saving Shaving Cream. Just about have this done here. And... It has given me a lot of good shapes, really good lather, leaves my skin feeling nice. It's nice and slick for the blade. There we go. I think this will be it. All right, yeah, that's looking good. So here's what my brush is looking like, and there's a look inside the bowl. If you use a little bit more soap, you can get a little bit more lather. <laughs> Maybe if we add a little bit more water here, get a little bit more too. Oh, there we go. That looks good. There we go. And then... I'm gonna go ahead and get my face wet and I'll be right back. All right, and there we go. So I already begun the la uh, applying the lather a little bit here onto my face. Oh, and it you can smell it, it's really nice. Excuse me. Clear it off a little bit and it comes in, I think it's, let me see here. Yeah, so this was a 3.5 uh, ounce tube and it'll last you a while, especially if you have a couple of the soaps and you're just rotating it out. Oh, by the way, if you didn't notice, took the hat off and I had colored my hair red using Kool-Aid in the past week and so I thought it'd be fun to do this video. 
All right, so now beginning to the shave, I always start on my right side because I'm right-handed. Flat and then you tilt it up. And you start shaving. And you want to keep it as flat as possible, your skin and the razor. Because if it's been curving and stuff, then it doesn't get at the hair very well. That's why you'll pull the skin up so you can get at the part that's on the curve while it's nice and flat. And then on the neck, flatten, tilt it up. Keep the wrist still and do all the work with your arm. Don't worry, you need, don't need to lift weights or anything like that. <laughs> And once you have it, the angle, you don't have to put it down like this and then tilt it up every time, like here, and then take it off and then again tilt it up. Once you got that good angle, I do suggest doing it like maybe after you rinse it off or something, or come up here again just a couple times throughout, make sure you get especially if you're just starting off. Make sure you get a good angle on it. And I haven't used the soap in a, I haven't used the soap in a little while. I've forgotten what it smelled like when I opened it up and started using it. I was like, oh yeah, that's really nice. Maybe a eucalyptus scent in here, maybe. All right. And I'll rinse off and be right back to relax. And we're back. It feels really nice on your skin too. It does have a very, very, very slight tingle. Not as much as the Pro Rasso does, but it does have a very slight tingle. It just feels nice. Oh yeah, that feels nice. It's one thing about wet shaving I really like is Gives you a chance to kind of treat yourself a little bit. Something you might not always do. And it's really nice. So again, I usually go from ear to nose uh, for my across the grain pass. Because for my skin, and my face, my hair generally grows down for the most part. And so this is what I found out works for me. And I'm using the Mastercut safety razor, didn't mention that, and I do have a Gillette Silver Blue blade in here. I think I've used the blade three or four times. And it still feels really nice. Let's do the neck. So if you're just starting off, again, it's a good idea to either transition slowly by doing maybe your right cheek or left cheek if you're left-handed, and then switching back to whatever you use, whether it be electric razor or cartridge razor or anything. And do that a time or two, then switch and do right cheek, left cheek, or right cheek neck but just get work into it if you feel that if you want to it's a good way to go if you do feel after the cheek feel like you got this keep going do what works for you all right and go ahead and now we'll just leave the camera running just trying to take a look at the packaging for us Thank you. 
And when you rinse off, you can feel your face and see where you need to shave more, where st there's still a lot more stubble. Like, I feel my left cheek has more stubble than my right cheek. And then, you know, after your first two passes, you can go across the grain or up the, uh, against the grain. Just, again, whatever works for you. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do. I've forgotten how good this soap smells. It says, sensitive shaving cream comforts and protects. Has a little bit of instructions on it too, on how to use a brush. It says it's lightly fragrant, so it is true, it's light, but you can still smell it. It's not overpowering or super strong or anything like that. Now let's go ahead and go against the grain today. Which for me is up. For you it may be, you know, from the lip to your ear on your cheek. And then, you know, up to down might be with the grain on your left cheek. It might be different. So just go ahead and take a look and see if you can notice anything noticeably different. If overall it's the same direction, don't have to worry too much. Let's see here. I don't know if you can hear it, so let's get close to the microphone. Really nice blade. Clean it up a little bit. If you want to, you can always do a last pass that's just targeting getting the areas that are still a little rough. But I'll do that another day. Alright, so that was a three pass shave with the Nivea Sensitive Skin Shaving Cream. And Still has a lot of shaving cream left. You could do a fourth full pass really easily. It is starting to get kind of bubbly and sudsy. I don't know if you can see in there. But yeah, it's getting a little bit bubbly. So a lot some soaps and lathers will do that after a little bit. They'll become bubbly. But you can still shave with them, depending on how much there is. Alright, so let's go ahead and Clean off my brush and rinse off my face real quick, and I'll come back with that aftershave. All right, so I just rinsed off with um, warm water, and I'm gonna get the water nice and cold. I always like to finish off with a cold water rinse; it feels really nice, and then do the aftershave. And I did a bit of a quick, quick research as well. So the um, the sensitive skin one has a chamomile and witch hazel in it so that could be what we're smelling I'm, I haven't really sell, smelled those individually so I don't know what they smell like exactly and for aftershave I'm doing the Nivea sensitive um, just because it's the one I have the most of right now and this feels really nice too both of them are the sensitive skin ones but they do come in original it's just what I was able to find at the stores that I went to. All right, so yeah, everything feels nice um, after the shave, so nice and smooth. And yeah, so that was just my review of the Nivea Sensitive Skin Shaving Cream. It's a great soap, it lathers 
well and easily, like lots of creams do. And then it smells really nice. And so, thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Shave up and do what works for you. We're here to help. Once again, I am bringing my wife in today. Mm -hmm. And she has purple hair today. I do. <laughs> and so, what's the wife rating? Mm, feels really nice. <laughs> it feels really nice. Yes. And how, what's it smell like? Mm -hmm. Does it smell good? Sm it smells like the Nivea aftershave, which for all like you people that have girlfriends, it smells pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. It smells pretty good. All right. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.